Welcome back Curry Crew. Today we're going to bring you a Thanksgiving classic in the form of pumpkin pie. Now this recipe is going to be super easy to make and it's going to be one of your favorites this Thanksgiving season. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into our video. So step one for our pumpkin pie is to make our pie crust. So into a large mixing bowl goes one and one fourth cup of all purpose flour. Then into this goes one fourth teaspoon of salt. Next we will take one stick or half a cup of fridge cold unsalted butter and we will cut this into small cubes. But before we do so give the salt and flour mixture a quick mix 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 mix. Then we will chop and cut our butter into small cubes and add that into our flour and salt mixture. Now using our hands, we will press down on the butter cubes and start to mash them into the flour. We want to slowly incorporate the butter into the flour and as it begins to incorporate, the entire mixture should begin to look more crumbly, similar to cookie crumbles. Now we will begin to knead together our pie crust using ice cold water. So have some water set aside with ice cubes in it and from that we're going to take one fourth cup of ice water and we will use this to bind our crust. Add in a small amount at a time and start to combine your dough together and keep adding the water slowly, a little bit at a time until your pie dough comes together and is no longer crumbly or dry. But also make sure that you don't do more than the one fourth cup of water or else the dough will get way too wet and become very slimy. Once the dough comes together, wrap it up in cling film and place it in the fridge for about two hours to chill out. This allows the fat in the butter to solidify and will make rolling out the pie crust a lot easier. After two hours, remove the dough from the fridge and allow it to warm up a bit on the counter for about 10 to 15 minutes. Once that is done, we are ready to roll out our dough. Add some flour to your counter and then start using a rolling pin to roll out your pie crust. I'm using a 9 inch pie pan so you want to roll out the pie crust to about 10 inches or so so that you have some extra crust to play with. Once our dough is rolled out, add some flour to both your rolling pin and to the dough and then gently lift the dough off the counter and onto your rolling pin and then we will drape it over our pie dish. Now gently we will start to fit the dough into the dish by lifting up from the sides and then patting the dough down into the center of the dish and up against the walls. Now using a knife, we can cut off any excess dough surrounding the edges and then using our thumb and fingers, we can start shaping the edges of our crust. Once that is done, we will place the pie crust in the freezer for about 10 minutes or so to allow it to solidify and stay in place. While that is cooling, we can preheat the oven to about 425 degrees Fahrenheit or 218 degrees Celsius. We will then place some parchment paper on our pie crust and then add some weight on top, either in the form of another pie tin or you can use some pie weights as well as some uncooked beans and etc. Bake the pie crust for about 10 to 12 minutes and then we will remove the pie from the oven and then remove the parchment paper and the excess weight that we had put on top. Using a fork, we will poke some holes into our pie crust in order to give some room to release the steam and also make sure that no bubbles start forming at the bottom of the crust. In the meantime, you can use some of the leftover dough from earlier and you can create some optional decorations like leaves or cut out other shapes for later. If you do cut out decorations, bake them separately in the oven for about five to 10 minutes. While the crust finished baking, let's start making our filling. So in a large mixing bowl, we will add in two eggs and whisk until completely mixed. Then in another bowl, we will take three fourths cup of sugar and then to this, we will add in one teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of ground ginger, and finally one fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. Give it all a quick mix, 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 mix. And then we will add this into our egg mixture. And then into our bowl, we will add in a 15 ounce can of pumpkin puree. Give it all a quick whisk, 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 and then we will slowly mix in one 12 ounce can of evaporated milk and we will keep whisking while the milk is being added slowly. Leave some milk at the end so that into it we can add in one tablespoon of cornstarch and then give that a quick mix, 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 mix before adding it into our filling. Give it one final whisk and then we can pour our filling into the crust. 
We will then return the pie to the oven, but this time lower the temperature to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We will then bake for about 45 to 55 minutes or until the center of the pie is the only thing left that is slightly jiggly, but the edges are cooked and set. Once that is the case, remove the pie from the oven and allow it to rest for about 15 to 20 minutes on the counter. The residual heat will finish cooking the center of the pie and the whole pie should be set. Once the pie cools, add on your decorations and there we have it guys, our awesome pumpkin pie is ready for us to dig into and enjoy. And look at that guys, it looks absolutely delicious and amazing. So I can't wait anymore to dig in. So guys, here is our awesome pumpkin pie. I'm gonna grab some whipped cream, grab a bite of our pie. Mm. It's delicious. It's not overly sweet, which is great. You have the really nice and flaky crust, but you, have, you can taste all the spices that we put into our pumpkin pie. It is so good. So you definitely need to try this out at home because you're gonna fall in love with how good this is. So try it out. Let us know how it turns out for you. And keep on cooking.